Welcome to this tutorial on Finite Element Analysis. This is an introduction to using SOLIDWORKS to set up simple FEA simulations. This tutorial will look at the necessary steps to set up a simple FEA simulation. The objectives of this tutorial are to calculate the maximum and minimum von Marseille stress acting on a bar, and to calculate the maximum displacement. The procedure First, material selection, creating a new study, applying fixtures, applying loads, generating a mesh, running the study, and finally displaying the results. Here is the bar that we have configured for FEA analysis. The first thing is to change the material. To do this, select the material in the design tree and right click and select edit material. This brings up a list of all materials which are configured within SOLIDWORKS. For this example, I will stick with AISI 1020 steel. All you need to do to apply the material is to select the material which you want and select apply. The window can then be closed. Start a study. Select simulation from the ribbon at the top. Select study advisor. Bring up the drop down menu and select new study. For this we will leave the setting as static study and the name as static one. The first thing that we want to do is apply a fixture to the part. For this we will right click fixtures in the tree and select fixed geometry from the drop down menu. This creates a simple fixed face at one end of the rod. Select the face that you wish to fix and select OK. The next step is to apply a load. For this, right click on external loads and select force from the drop down menu. For this example, we'll select this face to apply a force and reverse the direction to set up the bar in torsion. We'll set the units to SI and we'll apply 30,000 newtons. To apply this force, select green tick at the top of the tree. The final step before running the study is to generate a mesh. For this, right click on the mesh icon and select create mesh. Leave the settings as the default and click green tick. As you can see, a mesh has been quickly generated. The study can then be run by clicking the run the study icon on the top ribbon. As we can see, the maximum and the minimum of our MyC stress have now been displayed, but these values have been displayed in PSI. Change the units of these. Double click on the um, scale to the right, select definition and change the display to newtons per meter squared and select green tick. As you can see here, the regions of maximum stress are seen in the centre of this hole. To display the displacement, under the results tab, double click displacement. And as you can see here, the maximum displacement is seen at the end of the bar, where we applied the force, and the minimum displacement is seen at the face where we applied our fixtures. That's all for this tutorial. If there are any other videos which you would like to see, please leave a comment below of your suggestions. Thank you for watching.